guys, it's Damien here, and the last video I created, I told you that I will not be using this chassis anymore because my exciting news now is removing all the screws and parts of this chassis to just one piece. I have mated 10 parts into just one 3D printed part, also removing 30 screws that are assembled in this helicopter. So this is a huge step in the right direction. I was considering selling this model to the public, but I'm truly trying to expedite the process of getting 3D printed helicopters out in the market. So I will actually be giving this design out for anybody to print completely for free. I have been working really hard to get into research and developing a really good model for a RC helicopter frame and this is where we're at right now. So the flight controller, the battery tray, the bottom frames, the motor mount, the top frames, the boom block, and I've actually removed the frame adapters. So there are the, the frames are thicker because of it and now you just have to print it once and you have all the parts just in one setting. I have also designed this frame in a way where it fit, it's, fits the battery into the frame in a very snug way. And I'll show you a video of me just putting the battery in this frame and just completely shaking the living daylights out of it so it fits in there. I am no longer going to have a front bracket here. This is the design I'm going to go with. I'm still modifying it. And based off my previous crash, I'm still waiting on parts, but put that off to the side. I have fit this bearing block with the servos and motor. So the holes do align. This does fit. I'm excited. I'm extremely excited to test this out because there is a lot more rigidity in this frame than the previous one. I'll try to show you a diff the differences between this frame and the previous frame. So yes, big news. I will be showing you guys a ton of flights with this new, newly designed all-in-one piece frame that you can 3D print now at your home completely for free. I'll be posting this on Thingiverse and Printables once I, this design is pretty much finalized, but I just wanna make sure that after test flying it and going through some basic tests that everything is good and then I will provide you guys the uh, STL file. So as mentioned before, there have been actually a lot of prints that I've gone through to, to make this happen. I will share with you guys some of the techniques I have taken to get to the point where I'm at. I have printed probably five to 10 plus frames. So now you will only need the landing screws on the bottom, the screws to just tighten up the bearing block up against the tail boom and just one set screw. I have been using organic supports to print this. It does take a little bit of time to actually remove the supports without damaging anything and it is a decently tight fit for the frame as well uh, from the bearing blocks of the servos to the frame itself. So I'll show you guys that on another time once I get all my parts that I've ordered that are currently broken uh, onto pretty much the servos, the, the feathering shaft and everything else that I've purchased to, to get this up and running. But yeah, this is just a really big announcement. And I wanted to thank any of my subscribers that have been watching, my new viewers that are watching, as well as anybody that has been donating. Quick shout out to John, very much appreciated. And hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more content out there for you guys with this newly designed all in one piece chassis and yeah let me know what you guys think and if you like this type of content please like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching